Today, I'm going to compare the two best solar batteries on the market, the Tesla Powerwall and the BYD solar battery. And I'll point out seven significant differences between the two batteries. And by the end of this video, you'll know which solar battery is better for your home. I'm Mark from MC Electrical in Brisbane, and I know what you're thinking. You just want a Tesla, because Tesla is Tesla. I get it. I drive the Tesla Model 3, and it is the best car I've ever driven by far. BYD electric cars have now also hit the Australian market, and you know what? I wouldn't even waste my time to test drive it. I knew I wanted a Tesla Model 3, and nobody would convince me otherwise. So if you just want a Tesla Power, well then fair enough. But... If you want to consider all the factors, if you want to consider a less sexy option, an option which has its own pros and cons, then stick around because I'm going to unpack seven important differences between the Tesla and BYD. Okay, let's first talk about the most obvious difference, AC versus DC coupling, and which one is more efficient? So the Tesla Powerwall is an AC coupled inverter. This just means that you effectively connect it to the AC output of any solar inverter. It comes with its own battery charger inbuilt. It's a simple retrofit solution to any old existing solar system. It doesn't matter what the inverter is. BYD, on the other hand, is a DC coupled battery. DC batteries don't come with a battery charger installed, so you need to install a hybrid inverter. A hybrid solar inverter is just a solar inverter with a battery charger built into it. So for this, we obviously use the Fronius Gen 24 hybrid inverter. So DC coupling is marginally more efficient, but if I were you, I wouldn't take efficiency into account. There are other big differences between these two batteries that are way more important for you to consider. Okay, change over time. Now, in a blackout, the Tesla Powerwall will change into backup mode so quickly that your lights won't even flicker. The only way that you'll know you're in a blackout is by a notification on your phone. So that's pretty cool. But if you miss that phone notification and your oven and your air conditioner is on, then you might unnecessarily flatten or even overload your battery. Now, the BYD and Fronius solution is not so glamorous. In my Test, this takes around about 60 seconds for the BYD to change over in a blackout. So how do you know if the grid power has gone out? <laughs> well, it's pretty obvious. Your lights go out. No big deal. You'll have 60 seconds to turn off your oven and your hot plates and your air conditioner. You'll be interested to know that the changeover time for this setup is probably going to be reduced to around about 15 seconds in the future with a Fronius firmware update. So let me know what would you prefer a 60 second ch changeover or a 15 second changeover like this setup? Or do you love how the power wall changes over seamlessly so you don't even know about it? Now the third point only applies to those who have a three phase solar inverter and they want to be an Armageddon prepper. So it's 8 a.m. in the morning and you've only got five kilowatt hours of stored energy left in your battery and you have a blackout. Well, with the Tesla Powerwall connected to a three-phase inverter, your solar panels will not keep on charging your Tesla battery. That five kilowatt hours of power that's left in your battery is all you get until the grid power comes back on. But if you have a BYD battery with a three-phase Fronius inverter, you're basically Armageddon proof. Now let's say you have an extended blackout for a week. If you've got the cash, you can have up to 57.9 kilowatt hours of BYD batteries. Your solar panels will keep on charging your battery during the day, and you can even run a modest three-phase air conditioner during a blackout for days or even weeks at a time. Hey, before we go on, I've got a favor to ask you. If you find my videos useful, can you do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell? I'm ramping up my efforts on YouTube this year, and you subscribing will really help out my channel. Now, the fourth point is the user interface, and this is where Tesla is in a league of its own. The Tesla app is just so good. It allows you to easily adjust your priority from being in best energy saving mode to being in best blackout protection mode. So for example, let's say it's Friday lunchtime, and you know our storm is coming, so you might go into a blackout. You can activate via your app storm mode 
so your battery will charge up to 100%. So when the blackout happens, your Tesla battery will be fully charged. Or let's say, for example, you get charged most for your electricity between, say, 5 and 8 p.m. You can set your Tesla Powerwall to only discharge each day at 5 p.m. So you're definitely covered for that expensive power. Now, with BYD, you are reliant on Fronius to control the battery. And quite frankly, Fronius's interface needs some serious work. Now, I've been talking with their engineers about this and they are working on improvements. And when they've got it sorted out, I'll link to a video up here above. Now, point five is flexibility. Now, BYD, it's just so modular. It is flexible to the point of ridiculous. You can install anywhere from 5.1 kilowatt hours of battery up to 57.9 kilowatt hours. The BYD options can be overwhelming and you'll be much better off if you get it right the first time. So I'll show you how to understand the options of BYD at the end of this video. The Tesla comes in one size, 13.5 kilowatt hours. You can install multiple batteries, but because Tesla is an AC coupled battery and it faces the electricity grid, it is subject to grid regulations. So in Queensland, this realistically means that you wouldn't install more than three Tesla power walls on a three phase home. But if you're on a single phase home in Queensland, you wouldn't install more than two Tesla power walls. Realistically, the Tesla power wall is flexible enough for most homeowners, but where it doesn't suit, BYD is gonna have many more options. Okay, let's talk about the sixth consideration, battery chemistry. BYD uses LFP batteries, and at the time of recording, Tesla uses NMC batteries. The advantage of NMC chemistry in the Tesla Powerwall is that it's lighter, it's more compact, and it goes faster, which is perfect for a high-performance electric car like the Tesla Model 3 Performance. But do you really need a compact, lightweight battery as a solar battery? Well, the advantages of BYD's LFP battery is that it's cheaper, it's theoretically safer, and it doesn't use cobalt, so it, it avoids all those ethical questions around cobalt mining. Now, interestingly, in 2022, Tesla started using their LFP batteries in their standard range Model 3 cars. Now, it doesn't go as fast, but it's cheaper and it's safer, and it's less prone to degradation when it is regularly charged to 100%. Now, I'd be surprised if Tesla doesn't convert to LFP for their next generation of the Tesla Powerwall. But while we're talking about safety and ethical issues, let's bring up the place of manufacture. The Powerwall is made in the Gigafactory in the USA. And without going into details about the battery's build and its design and its active cooling, I think I should be able to assure you that the Tesla makes a very safe battery. BYD, on the other hand, it's a Chinese company and the batteries are made in China. I'll let you decide if you would ethically rather buy a Chinese-made product or an American product. Warranty. Okay, this one is a big one. Tesla has a strong presence in Australia and it will be here for the next 10 years guaranteed. So your warranty is safe. End of story. Now let's say your BYD battery stops working. Is it the problem of the charger, the Fronius inverter, or is it the problem of the BYD battery? Or what happens if there's a finger-pointing war and neither side takes responsibility? Now, while a finger-pointing war is possible, if I thought it was going to likely be an issue, then I wouldn't install BYD batteries for my customers. But there is a way to make your BYD battery warranty more reliable. Buy it from a company like MC Electrical. We've been operating in Brisbane since about 2009 and we take our warranty issues seriously. Even if BYD and Fronius are having arguments, it's our problem. If I sold you the battery, it's my role under the Australian consumer law to honour the warranty regardless. Okay, that's a wrap. But if you're looking into buying a BYD battery, then you might want to hand into what's the best size for your needs. It's more complicated than you might think. But I break it down simply in my next video.